Hi, I'm Jim Sauerwein, co-developer of the PowerShoot. I'm going to walk you through the assembly and disassembly in this session. First of all, grab a driver. Even though it'll work on a three-wood, it works better with a longer club. So the longest club you have, the better. In fact, the longer and lighter, the better. So you'll also now notice that there's a wide end and a narrow end. Take the wide end, and we're going to assemble it first, and we're going to assemble it to the very bottom of the shaft. You'll also notice on top of the, each clip there's an R and an L, R for right-handed golfer, L for lefty, and you want to align that letter, the appropriate letter, at the very top of the shaft. And top would be, if you're looking at a square face, looking down the shaft, the R would be right on top, uh, and that was my reference point. Click it in with your thumb, and then double thumb it. It's always good to get that extra security just to uh, make sure it's secure on there. And I'll use two thumbs. So I'll put my fingers over the clip, double thumb it to get an extra click or two if you can. And then from there, you want to flip the security bar over until you hear it click. Now, it's the same assembly for the top clip, except let's talk about the tautness. Uh, the ideal amount of slack is about an inch, inch and a half. Uh, so what you do is you pull it all the way tight and then back down about an inch and a half. That would be perfect. Same thing, give it a click, turn it, try to get an extra one if you're with two thumbs if you can, and then flip the security bar over and you should be ready to go. So when I look down the shaft, I see both my R's right on top. You can give it a little twist if you need to. Uh, it, it will turn just a fraction uh, to, to align it. If it gets off and you say over time you start swinging and you didn't get it secure, and it starts to twist, well then the chute will not swivel the way it's designed. And if, it, if that happens, you'll actually, it'll miss and you won't really know what happened. If, if that happens to you, make sure that you uh, look down and the R's or your appropriate letter is lined up at the top. Now, let's talk about the disassembly. Flip the security bar over and you'll notice that if I just pull out, it won't come out. So I need two hands. I need to lift up on the top of the clip and pull out. So lift up, pull out. It's real easy, but it requires that just little bit of manual of lift up, pull out. Same thing for the bottom clip. Clip your flip the security bar over, lift up, pull out, and you should be ready to go.